The Timminsville Fire Department is not in business for the time being as town officials reorganize it. Town Councilman Woodrow Thomas Jr. says they have personnel problems after the department has now lost its third chief in the past five years. The reason it was closed is we have some um, management issues and we're trying to absorb those management issues within the department. So Sardis Timminsville, which is about two miles away in Florence County, is handling all calls for the town. Some residents like Robert Dix can't understand why the town would temporarily shut down its fire station when they're paying taxes to keep it open. They're not uh, giving us the service that we need. You know, if, you, if your place catch a fire, you know, uh, you're paying tax dollars and uh, your place going to be destroyed. The fire department is something everyone in Timberville here rely on. So Robert questions why Timminsville hasn't joined the county's consolidated fire district to better help with fire coverage and keep the doors open to the Timminsville fire station. The Florence County Administrator says other towns have benefited from the merged the district with cheaper homeowners insurance and better service all around. The response time would be beneficial. I think uh, it would be a wonderful opportunity for both parties to team together and work. Tampico has done it, Johnsonville has done it, Coward and Scranton could be a seamless transition if the mayor and council of Timmonsville decided that they wanted to move forward and become a part of the consolidated fire district, but that's solely a decision that they'll have to make. But moving forward, is this a seamless transition? Timmonsville Mayor Derek Jackson says the drawback is higher property taxes for Timmonsville residents, mm -hmm. and he isn't so sure joining the merged district is worth that. You know, we're looking at a tax hike. And the people of Timminsville uh, deserve the right to voice their opinion when it comes to a tax increase. And that's why I always believe in being very transparent and bringing it to the people. And Jackson says it's ultimately the will of the people if his town becomes a part of the Consolidated Fire District. In Timminsville, Tanya Brown, WPDE News Channel 15.